Thank you very much, Gauri. And thank you, Sivashankariyama. Writing a memoir or getting a memoir in place is nothing new to the Tamil world or Tamil literature. Very often I'm given to think and I presume Malan, Vulaganayagi and Sharada Amma would agree with me when I say many of the verses in Sangam literature are kind of memoirs, experiences recapped and strung together. That way, a memoir is something not out of the way for the Tamil world. But Surya Vamsam is different. Since Surya Vamsam itself is something different, it's a different kind of a memoir, I may kindly be permitted not to talk about the author or the book right at the first instance, but then say something about the foreword. And I do understand writing a foreword is not a joke. The foreword on one side would have to capture the emotions of the book. On the other side, control itself not to overstep into the original author's arena. Very often, people who occupy high designations, higher offices, are demanded to write some kind of a foreword. I'm sure Madam Gariali would understand, Dr. Mohan would understand. There are several demands. The demands for writing a foreword is not to the person whom they think would do a good job, but then it's for the kind of the designation or kind of the office that one holds. I'm sure many of you would understand several times these four words are kind of, you know, marketing techniques. But then here is a four word which effectively recaps the entire book in just about a few pages. Malin has written the foreword. And Malin has a word to say when he concludes the foreword. I was thinking I would be speaking before Malin. <laughs> that change in order kind of placed me at a small disadvantage. But then thanks Malinji for not revealing everything. Permit me to quote a sentence from this foreword which I believe will tell us as to what the book is. On a deep analysis, I quote, on a deep analysis, one would find 
this book as a record of the societal values that prevailed 70 years ago. Suri Vamsam. In fact, I'm one who's doubly privileged. I had the opportunity of being here when the original Tamil Surya Vamsam was launched in October 2019. The Tamil version has two volumes. I had to travel to Brazil prior to the launch and I took the book with me 10 days of stay at Brazil and I had a wonderful companion in Shiva Shankari in those two volumes. I mention this because that time I had to read word by word, letter by letter. And when I received the English version, the copy of the English version, my interest was not at all dwindled. And Madam, you amaze me. You amaze me as you did years ago when I read your Indumati and Raja Raman and that small little bunch of joy. Tottilla Kadakaranda Koranda Raja Ramana Madri Roja Niram. You continue to amaze me. Friends, I have just one single line to say. I would not prefer to make a long speech. I would just say one single line. Surya Vamsam, as rightly pointed out by Malin, is a recap of the metamorphosis of a unique woman. And all those of us who would be privileged to read this book, I'm sure, would also undergo a similar metamorphosis. Thank you. Thank you, Mark.